Assalamualaikum. We are continuous our online lecture for topic emission control system part two or subject uh, automotive uh, technology two. In this subtopic, uh, we are going to learn about type of emission control system. Uh, from previous video, uh, you can see that uh, we know. Uh, explain about the uh, type of emission uh, emission source of emissions so in this in this video i'm going to share i'm going to tell about the control system that we have in our our cars uh, how our, uh, how the existing technology uh, can reduce uh, the emission uh, of the uh, harmful gases in our uh, exhaust okay Okay, this component what we call catalyst converter. Catalyst converter, the device is located in the line with the exhaust exhaust system, and is used to cause the desirable chemical reaction to take place in the exhaust flow. Uh, the location is from the exhaust manifold, eh? maybe uh, on on the uh, underbody. You can see all the pipeline system. Uh, after the exhaust manifold there is catalyst converter then they go before uh, muffler and also the tailpipe that's the location of the catalyst converter and then point number two the catalyst converter is used to complete uh, the oxi oxidation process for uh, hydrocarbon and carbon monoxide nitrogen oxide eh, back to the simple simple nitrogen and carbon dioxide Okay, this is the diagram, uh, the actual uh, location of the catalytic converter. Uh, what we, what you can see is uh, from the uh, exhaust manifold. I'm afraid this is the exhaust manifold. Go through this one. This one, what we call bellow. Bellow is like uh, adjustable, adjustable pipeline. They are flexible, uh, or we, or we call also we call pineapple because the the design or structure is look like a pineapple, but the name is bellow. Hello. Uh, this one is uh, from the uh, exhaust manifold, and then they are straight to the catalyst converter, and then uh, go straight to the uh, muffler and tailpipe. Uh, this is the location of the catalyst converter. Okay, the function is from the combustion chamber. Uh, the exhaust, the uh, the incomplete uh, combustion uh, can can produce nitrogen oxide carbon monoxide and hydrocarbon and eh? this three uh, or sulfur eh? uh, which is a sulfur oxide these uh, four gases will be uh, go through the catalytic converter and the, the reaction the chemical reaction happen here until uh, they uh, produce uh, a complete combustion which is the final product is H2O uh, the, the water and CO2 carbon monoxide carbon dioxide and nitrogen oxide and uh, this this three element uh, is not harmful to our environment and also uh, not harmful to our health okay that this that's the function of a uh, catalytic converter okay next what we have here is a uh, exhaust gas exhaust gas recirculation system egr uh, this is the picture you can see the valve here uh, the function is is designed to reduce the amount of Oxid, uh, oxide, uh, nitrogen oxide uh, to reduce the amount of nitrogen oxide created by the engine during the operation uh, that usually result when uh, high combustion temperature whenever uh, the temperature is increased in combustion chamber so the numbers uh, the volume of nitrogen oxide is increased uh, they are this, the function is to reduce to reduce uh, the engine temperature so uh, automatically the the volume of the nitrogen oxide will decrease okay, point number two uh, nitrogen oxide is formed in high concentration whenever combustion temperature exceeds about 2500 uh, Fahrenheit uh, 2500 which is high temperature EGR uh, operation and condition Okay, high EGR flow is necessary during the cruising uh, mid-range acceleration. This in this uh, in this condition, 
uh, the engine temperature is is right the low egr flow is needed during the low speed and light load condition low egr rate, okay if the temperature is high so high egr flow uh, operation uh, system take take place and then when uh, low speed and uh, light load condition low egr flow uh, needed into the combustion chamber or no egr flow should occur uh, during condition when egr operation could, could adversely affect the engine operation efficient while uh, for example engine warm uh, we start up the engine so th there is no egr valve there is no egr flow or during ideal for traffic light eh, or or wide open throttle so there is no uh, ejar flow the operation during the high speed acceleration or during a low speed so during idle and warm up there is no uh, ejar flow uh, into the combustion chamber yes that, that is the operation okay there is uh, three uh, component in the ejr system uh, one uh, actuator or uh, the control valve here what we have here EGR valve, EGR, EGR vacuum uh, modulator or assembly modulator, uh, modulator which is uh, they are in the together with the ECU uh, system. Uh, ECM, ECM control vacuum switching valve, switching valve whenever uh, a solenoid valve. Here we can see the solenoid valve, the EGR valve when, whenever uh, EGR valve is open. So uh, the they use the vacuum system in the intake the in, in the intake manifold. Okay, uh, I, okay. I will explain uh, a little bit about the vacuum, how vacuum created in the uh, intake manifold. Uh, for example, uh, piston uh, from top dead center, uh, from top dead center to bottom dead center, and the intake valve is open. So it create vacuum uh, inside the combustion chamber. So if we drain all all the air, uh, all the air uh, inside the intake manifold, uh, flow to into the combustion into the combustion chamber. So uh, if the valve EGR is open, so the vacuum itself it will will uh, take will take exhaust gas. Uh, you can see from this is the exhaust manifold. So when whenever the EGR valve is open. Okay, the, the, the vacuum uh, we allow the exhaust uh, the exhaust gas into the intake manifold from the EGR valve. Next, then we have a uh, positive uh, crankcase ventilation, uh, which is VC, VCV. VCV during uh, during normal operation stroke, a small of the of gases in the combustion chamber escape. Uh, passed by the piston which is what we call here uh, from uh, the previous from the earliest uh, video we have a uh, blow by yeah? blow by gases which is a gas uh, bypass through the through the seal into the crankcase area so the so the function of positive crankcase uh, ventilation to to absorb all all the blow by gases uh, inside the crankcase area and flow into the uh, intake manifold because if uh, if the blow by gases uh, stay uh, inside the crankcase area it will be contaminant and dilute the engine oil so uh, the engine oil will be uh, will be sticky uh, will be sticky and can cause uh, corrosion uh, to uh, to the crit critical part in the in the engine engine in the crankcase area and contribute uh, to slash uh, build up uh, sludge. Okay, point number two at the higher engine speed uh, blow by gases increase at the crankcase pressure that can cause the oil leak uh, which is uh, uh, whenever the gas blow by increase in the crankcase area so the pressure inside the crankcase is increased then uh, it will cause the the oil pan uh, the oil pan uh, at the at the bottom of the engine will leak uh, engine engine leak uh. Uh, the oil will be leaked at the seal. So the purpose of the PCV valve to remove uh, these harmful gases from the crankcase before damage uh, occur. So the damage occur. Okay, you can see the diagram here. Engine not running. 
uh, the situation station one is engine not running so pcv valve is closed during normal operation uh, during normal operation pcv valve is open and vacuum passes is large the vacuum valve is open then then the the blow by gases will pass through the engine uh the, the combustion uh, the pcv valve then into the intake manifold during accelerating an acceleration of high load pcv valve is fully open because the the gas the uh, volume of uh, blow by gas is increased in the crankcase so the pcv valve will open widely to take all the blow by gases out from the crankcase area okay you can see you can see the the diagram here you can see how the pcv pcv system component first we have a pcv valve in here okay this is the pcv valve uh we have the pcv push hose push hose eh, in the arrow in the arrow uh green arrow and then breathing breather hose a uh, breathing hose uh it's like breather hose it's like uh the the pipeline uh from the crankcase okay this is uh the diagram i show how the pcv uh system uh functioning next cooperative emission control or evac evac system evac system is designed to store and dispose of a few vapors uh, normally to create created in the fuel system and uh, thereby preventing its uh, escape to the atmosphere uh, okay i will explain later okay point number two evac system deliver this uh, vapor to the intake manifold to be burned with a normal a fuel uh, mixture uh, push valve. Uh, this is the push uh, push push valve lah. Push valve is connected to the uh, to the system. Uh, this is uh, this is uh, this is uh, electrical push valve. Okay, evac basic. Uh, we said evac basic operation. First, fully fully closed system designed to maintain the stable fuel fuel tank pressure without allowing the fuel vapor to escape to the atmosphere. Uh, number two, fuel vapor is uh, normally created in the fuel tank as a result of evaporating when temperature is high. Number three, it is the transfer to the evac system, what we call is charcoal canister. Yeah, that is component uh, inside the evac evac system uh, to store all the uh, fuel vapor inside the charcoal canister. Number four, stock uh, stock fuel vapor. Uh, push into the intake manifold and added uh, to incoming a fuel mixture. Uh, basically, the evac system is like uh, whenever the temperature is high in the inside the fuel tank, so the the gas the gas or gasoline it will be vaporized. If the gas is not uh, released, uh, relief valve. So whenever the 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 pressure increase inside the uh, the fuel tank it will create the timing timing bomb eh, in our vehicle that, that was the quite dangerous eh? so to be able uh, this system uh, to be safer you need to have uh, what we call relief valve or in the system we call the event system to allow the acid uh, pressure or fuel vapor to uh, uh, to get out from the uh, fuel tank uh, all the gases or the vapor uh, fuel is will will be stored uh, inside the charcoal canister before it will be pushed into the uh, intake manifold. Okay, there is uh, two type of evac. There is type of evac, which is a conventional evac, non AC non ECM control uh, vapor intake with uh, thermal vacuum valve, what we call TVV. Thermo, <coughs> thermo vacuum valve. You can see here. This is the check valve, uh, which is or fuel cap, uh, fuel tank cap here. Uh, this is the uh, the the place when we fill fill up the the gas. <coughs> this is the fuel tank. Uh, whenever temperature increase, the 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 pressure is increased, developed by uh, the the increases of a uh, vapor uh, fuel. So the vapor fuel we flow through this this pipeline into uh, this charcoal canister here what we here is component what we call a charcoal canister 
you can see the uh, the uh, the small line here is a uh, a few vapor a uh, few vapor and the uh, uh, darkest or uh, uh, fresh air the darkest line black line here is the fresh air or when the car is uh, driving uh, during during the hot uh, temperature and sunny day so the the fuel the fuel vapor will increase and flow through the charcoal canister whenever the tvv is open eh, whenever tvv is open is controlled by a uh, vacuum inside the vacuum inside the intake manifold so all the gases inside the charcoal canister will be pushed eh, will be pushed you can see here from at the bottom uh, from charcoal canister is the is the hoist hoist uh, openly uh, to allow uh, outside air flow inside the charcoal canister all together with the vapor fuel through the TVV and they are flow straight away into the intake manifold okay? then all the gases will be pushed uh, into the combustion chamber uh, there is no uh, waste uh, here lah. this is uh, the how the TVV uh, evac type 1 uh, operation okay we see a uh, type of evac uh, control by ECM M electric, electric control uh, electronic control module which is uh, 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 using the uh, co electrical component uh, what we call here a uh, control evac system with vacuum switching valve VSV okay here front air cleaner uh, front air cleaner uh, from air cleaner uh, from air cleaner and the from fuel tank, from fuel tank, whenever uh, the fuel vapor is developed, they are will be stored inside the taco canister. And then, when the VSV identify, uh, they uh, they receive uh, the or they receive the order from the ECM to open the VSV the valve. So uh, the air from the air cleaner will push all all the fuel vapor inside the taco canister straight into the intake manifold uh, the, the okay uh, the difference between these two operation is uh, one uh, one using a conventional which is uh, which is uh, using a vacuum system and the other one is more precise uh, using uh, electrical component uh, which is VSV and and the other component uh. okay this is the difference between two type of evac next okay this uh, okay uh, for the fault system secondary air injection system huh? point number one more than 80 percent of the emissions uh, produced in the driving cycle are generated uh, directly after the cold start of the gasoline engine because this uh, in the face of the cold catalyst uh, converter does not yet uh, deploy and exhaust gas cleaning effect okay we i will i will read first then i will explain to you how how the system works Okay, point number two. This is this is the point where the secondary air system come, uh, which initiate oxidation of the ambient uh, hydrocarbon by injection of a secondary air into the exhaust gas uh, manifold. Okay, this is the component. This is the component. Uh, this is controlled by uh, ECU. Okay, okay, what we see. Okay, diagram. We see the diagram. <coughs> the function is to reduce the level of emission inside the exhaust system uh, okay how it works which is uh, the secondary pump from the from the, uh, from intake uh, air intake air cleaner that there is secondary pump uh, here from one of the component uh, secondary air injection system the air uh, whenever the the valve is open okay? whenever the valve is, is open uh, the pump uh, we increase the airflow of the uh, clean air inside the uh, exhaust manifold uh, this is cat catalytic converter so they will uh, push the fresh air inside the uh, exhaust manifold mean the fresh air contain a uh, high level of oxygen to increase the oxidation process inside the catalytic converter uh, so this is this is the main function of the secondary air injection system uh, the reason is the secondary air injection system is to uh, to help or to increase the efficient of the catalytic converter. What we have learned before, catalytic converter is uh, to change, right? 
to change uh, incomplete combustion into the complete combustion which is for the end product which can uh, produce non-dangerous gases uh, to our environment and health and then the secondary but the catalyst counter they have also the capacity to to produce uh, this mean uh, before this the system also have a small amount of the emission uh, there is a leak uh, leak of the uh, harm gases into the environment so uh, if we have the secondary air injection system, that means we have two systems uh, to give a booster to the calcium converter to produce a combustion, a complete combustion uh, in the exhaust uh, emission. Okay. And then next, a quick assessment uh, 3.3. Uh, I need you to sketch and upload to uh, sketch and upload uh, to the Google Classroom. What you need to sketch, sketch a diagram, label, and explain for that topic selected. Okay, in this video, we have a four, a four system co control system for uh, exhaust gas emission. So uh, all you need to do is select any any system. It's only one system. You need to sketch up and label uh, an explanation about the system. And then you take a photo, scan, and upload to the Google Classroom. And don't forget title Q QA 3.3, a uh, full name and registration number. Uh, this is for for your attendance. Uh, if you complete uh, all three assessment, quit uh, 3.1, 3.2, and 3.3, then I will consider your attending your attendance uh, because you are you are doing some assessment. Uh complete all the assessment for your for your attendant okay uh, that's all uh, thank you assalamualaikum